Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Peru against Brazil. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beck. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. Lineups for the game. things on the way so Jim tell me this who are you looking for in particular here I'm gonna go for William um, Brazilian flair and European discipline he probably should score a few more but he delivers what it says on the box he's bright and imaginative going forward and committed to getting back yeah I'd have picked him too no doubt the fans feel much the same way a poor kick by the keeper, being intercepted, passes it through, William looking to get on the end of this, clears it out of harm's way, and it's William, and that's a throw. Coutinho, Long and forward. Now it's Farfan. 
it was on the back foot. Farfan, chance! Has a pop! Oh, the ball's come loose! Appearance is very necessary. Luis Gustavo did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Pizarro pumps it upfield. And it's Coutinho. Goes wide. Fitted behind for a corner kick. Away from immediate danger. Coutinho. He's dealt with that well. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. A real chance to break. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. What a save! Terrific reactions! He's done very well to get to that. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. I needed a better pass there. Now it's Neymar. Tries a through ball. Oh, good stop, it had to be. Oh, great save, real class. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. And out to safety. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Played out to the right. William goes for the cross. Aim forward. Now the pass. Right through the middle. He's off on a marauding run. He's one on one, surely! He's scored! First blood drawn. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Peru break the deadlock. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Neymar, can he find a finish now? Shakes the shoots. Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Oh, that's just lovely skill. He's certainly a player who can single-handedly make a difference. Great talent. it out to the flank a chance he's gone for it it's come loose it's good progress he's made on the ball where to next Marcelo does well there alert Farfan looks like a good ball through still going where to next can he score it's the whistle for half time. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Well, look, they, they were caught by a breakaway goal, uh, but there's no reason as to why they can't work their way back into this. If they can play to their potential second half, I think much could change yet. Peru, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up.
we go again then. Peru going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Looks to slip it through. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The idea was good though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Now it's William. Defence has got rid of that. And it's Marcelo. Marcelo, that is a terrific run. Lovely feet. They've managed to get it away. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Now the pass. Daniel Alves gets into some space. It's a loose ball. Looking to shoot! No, poor contact. Nothing on the shot. Pissarro. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Paulinho. Farfan. Jao Miranda pumps it forwards. And it's Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa takes a look up. Douglas Costa keeps everyone guessing. That intervention was very necessary. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Luis Gustavo. Thinking about substitutions now, they still have two available. Is it in? Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. Directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Farfan. Paulinho. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Fernandinho. It's come loose. Fernandinho passes it through. Aimed long and direct. William gets on the end of it. Assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Touch and go, aren't they supposed to get the benefit? Brazil has decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened Chips in this through. Case. Fernandinho. Peru leading here by this still precarious 1-0 margin. Wonderful quick feet. Looks towards the front. Looks like a good ball through. Marcelo battles to win it back. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Peru are on the verge of a pretty special win, but they've got some hanging on to do here. Neymar, Neymar, one of a type, he's brilliant. They have stolen level at the last. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly.
Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. So all square with almost no time remaining. And that's it. So nothing between them after all of that. And you can't really argue with the result. The manager too unhappy with the outcome. And the fans really well entertained. It's all square in the end. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Look, a draw shows a level of industry from both sides here. On that alone, I think it's been quite an interesting encounter, actually.